Okay, hey everybody, uh, Dan Redford again for Shanghai Exposed. Uh, I'm here live in Jer Jerusalem, and uh, for those of you that haven't been reading or aren't up to date, I'm in Jerusalem uh, in Israel to participate in a uh, once-in-a-lifetime experience being put on by uh, students at Hebrew University. Uh, they're bringing me here along with three other bloggers uh, to just describe what life is like in Israel and tell the real story, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, here, you may recognize uh, this, the place I'm in today. Uh, this is the Western Wall, also called the Wailing Wall. In Hebrew, we learned it today. Uh, it's the Kotel. Uh, I'm learning Hebrew now, which is very cool. Um, this wall represents a lot of different things to a lot of different kinds of people. Uh, here in Israel, for the Jewish people, the religious Jews, uh, it represents a piece of the wall that was never destroyed from the Second Temple. Uh, it's a place where they come to worship, to pray, to thank God for all their blessings in their life. Um, for secular Jews, even, this represents a place um, that the state of Israel was, was founded upon. Um, and so they come here and remember all the struggles uh, that, they, that they incurred to be able to have their own state, their own place to live. Uh, we've been touring all of the holy sites. As you know, Jerusalem is uh, a center for three major mainstream religions, Christianity, Judaism, uh, Islam. And they're all here, uh, right at these very places uh, in the old city of Jerusalem. Um, I learned a lot today about intrinsic value, about what you feel in your heart, which you can't really express sometimes with words, um, what other people can't understand how you feel. And I learned a lot about that as I went and toured today um, with our wonderful tour guide and uh, the other bloggers. We went through the old city, and we went to the, the, temple, the temple Mount uh, that has a lot of history. And uh, this whole city has just layers upon layers upon layers of history and struggle and conflict. And at any given time in history, this place was conquered by crusaders. It was ruled by, uh, by Jews. And the Muslims took it over uh, thousands of years ago. Now, today, it's part of the state of Israel. Um, way too much history for me to comprehend today. Um, but I really felt why the heart of this conflict, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, and all of these emotional baggage that is causing some of this here. When I actually went to the Holy Sepulchre, which is where, in the Catholic tradition, I'm a Protestant, but in the Catholic tradition, um, that's where they feel that Jesus Christ was actually buried. I actually went to the tomb. Um, I actually pulled out my New Testament uh, and, and actually prayed at the foot of where they believe Jesus ascended into heaven. Now, of course, that may or may not be the place, but if I, a young 21-year-old from Michigan, can come all the way to Jerusalem, um, and actually feel in my heart some type of a, you know, some type of an emotional, uh, heartfelt um, thing, and I, I can just imagine the years of struggle here, and why intrinsic value is at the heart of what these people struggle with every day. I mean, what I see behind me is a Temple Mount that, until the day, didn't have much meaning to me, but for thousands of years and for the recent struggles for the state of Israel, um, this is what it's all about. It's just buildings. Uh, if you just look at it. But in the heart of everything, that's where the conflict comes through. Because this means a lot to so many people, everybody wants to have a part of it. And um, when you're in a place like this, you have to respect the rules. I mean, even here I feel a little nervous, um, and I'm attentive to the people behind me, because for them this is a place of worship. I even have to wear this, a kippah. Um, I'm probably not even pronouncing it right, um, to respect their traditions. And so I know that if I talk to these people, the respect mine, and hopefully, um, as we continue to talk about what intrinsic value means to all people, um, that may actually sow the seeds for um, a solution to all these conflicts here. So I'm anxious to continue uh, to learn more about Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Israel, and um, all of these things that I t today don't really know much about.